Hi, Rachel Wall here. So I just wrapped up a podcast with Dr. Mark Costas of the Dentalpreneur podcast. Encourage you to check it out. Uh, and we talked about a lot of things, but one thing that we talked about that we see a lot at Inspired Hygiene is when dental teams are introduced to the idea of working with a coach, um, and particularly, you know, in our case, hygienists, um, the hygienists respond in one of three ways. Number one, they are rare and to go. Uh, they are excited. They are ready to learn. They understand that their practice has a culture of continual growth and learning, and that it always results in a win for the patients, the practice, and the providers. Uh, two, the second way they often show up is they're reluctant. The hygienists are reluctant. And usually this just means that they need a little bit more information. They want to make sure that what we're bringing to the table, what we're teaching aligns with their values and with the values of the practice. And then the third way that hygienists show up is resistant. And resistant is when they're presented with the science, when they're presented with the verbal skills to present something, when they're presented with a plan and they've collaborated and create, helped create a standard of care, then they're resistant and they just simply say, I'm not doing this. I'm not willing to up-level my skills for diagnosis. I'm not willing to talk to my patients differently. I'm just not willing to do this. And then that's when there is a problem. Uh, that's often where the hygienist and the practice owner's core values don't align. And often there's a change in uh, that relationship. So I would ask you, where do you feel like you are right now with your hygiene team when you present the hygiene team with something new, whether it is a new service to provide to patients, a new way of communicating something, are they resistant, are they reluctant, or are they raring to go?